So there was a live. Um, uh, Royce and Joe Budden went live, and then Joel came in. And this is this discrepancy about a, I guess a project that was on the table, and Royce and Joe wanted more specifics before they would sign. So Joel and Crooked just pretty much got together. And we're like, you know what? We're not going to wait on this. We'll drop an EP with just us. And it's going to be called The Rise and Fall of Slaughterhouse. Oh, wow. They dropped this joint called Backstage, where they pretty much air out how it was being on Slaughterhouse. And is the they, song out? It's out. And they did not cut corners. Oh, wow. It was very vivid on what they said. And watching these guys argue, man, and, you know, some of the stuff that Joe said about the project, about how he's not going to support it. He doesn't care if it does well. And it sucks to see these guys arguing like this, but I don't know who's necessarily right or wrong because I feel like Royce and Joe have a right to want to hold back on the business end to make sure everything is correct before they move forward versus Joel and Cricket being like, you know what? Y'all said y'all didn't want to do it. We're just going to drop the album and y'all deal with it. And I hate to see groups of this magnitude just kind of break well, they, up. But they haven't been a group for a while. It's though. been a while. True, that's fair. Joe, Joe retired, retired, right? Quote unquote yeah, retired. Joe, uh, Joe, I thought was the piece that had fell out and made them pretty much split up anyway. But the thing is, Joe, from what I understood, is Joe came to the table to at least see what was going on, to to uh, to see what the offer was, and, and he didn't like the specifics, the the ownership specifics, and you know all the fine print. Okay, and so at that point, Royce and him didn't want to do it so crooked and joel said we are going to do it and they did it crooked and joel said we're not going to take that offer we're just going to do an ep without y'all and just pretty much and air they're calling it slaughterhouse we're going to call it slaughterhouse it's still under slaughterhouse and we're just going to air y'all out about all the stuff that's been going on i don't know i, I kind of feel i don't know the the uh, yeah, that's, uh, details but i don't think they should have went with the name slaughterhouse if all four of them are together i mean they could have just did a one-off with those two and kind of went from there. Yeah. I mean, like for our listeners who aren't so versed in, in, in this lane of hip hop, you know, imagine if when, um, Bell Biv DeVoe came out, they just called themselves new edition and they, and they call, instead of call, calling their album poison, they called it the rise and fall of new edition. <laughs> yeah. Like how foul would that be? Bad. That's you bad know, for business. Um, I think it's hilarious. You said for those that don't know Slaughterhouse, here's new edition. <laughs> hey, look, I got, I got, I got some, uh, you know, I got some friends that listen to me. Like, I don't know what you're talking about. I just enjoy the podcast. Yeah. But, <laughs> um, <laughs> so some of some, some of our older, perhaps our female demographic. Y'all hey, correct me in the chat if I, if I misspoke on the title, but I believe that's what the title is going to be called. Go ahead, Jay Moore. No, sorry. no. I mean, and this is, this is a crazy thing about ownership, you know, cause we, we've had these kind of conversations before, you know, if, Joe and, 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 um, Royce, you know, they don't have paperwork yeah. that says, Hey, we are one, f you know, fourth or, you know, a half of slaughterhouse and you can't proceed without us, uh, in this way, or at least, you know, instead of calling it, you know, Joel and, um, King crooked, King, King crooked, you know, then they really have, I mean, they, they can be mad, you know, have the right to be mad, but honestly on paper, you don't have the right to be mad, you know, uh, but even if they call it Joel, Ortiz and King Cricket, the the idea and the concept is still there. The we we leaving y'all behind and we're gonna go ahead and move forward. That part is is not gonna change no matter what they call it, but it might sting more if it's called slaughter. You know, I mean, slaughter. That's, I, that's absolutely a a kick in the face. One hundred percent. Yeah, one hundred percent. But it happens all. It's happened yeah. all the time. The people have moved on and and maintained the name. Uh, it's happened in rock. It happens in R and B. It happens. In, I mean, in ha pop. You know, yeah, it happens, happens multiple but times. Who has, Slum Village. Yeah, yeah. Who that's has, a good point. Who has ownership to the name? Like, do they all have ownership to that name? Because if that's the case, then even though that uh, Royce and uh, Joe aren't on there, won't they get money from it? No. Uh, no. If they have no ownership of the name, well, that's says, what I'm saying. Because they, they might have went in and and uh, said, "Okay, this name isn't registered." Mm -hmm. Royce and the did, two of them decide to go register the name, and they can go ahead and just eat off being called Slaughterhouse. Mm -hmm. Roy, it says Royce posted on his IG says you have 25 percent ownership that's equity uh, in the building. He starts, you know, he's basically giving a scenario. So it sounds like they all have 25 percent. From what I'm seeing here, I mean, ideally, you would, you think, would think it would be that way. So that's tough if they come out with just <laughs> a project called Slot. Like Terry said, that's the ultimate slap in the face. 
just two of them. So what do, what does Royce and uh, Joe do now? Do they come out with their own slaughterhouse? No, Joe Joe is retired, so he shouldn't yeah. care. He sh- he shouldn't he shouldn't care. care. Royce, I didn't I didn't know about Royce. Like I mean, maybe Royce would have still been a part of it, but they've been pretty public. I mean, Joe being a podcaster and Royce. Yeah. talking on his Instagram. I feel like they've been fairly public about all this stuff mm. already. It, it got ugly with the conversation on live, though. No, oh, did it? Yeah, it got ugly. How Tor- so? Towards the end, just, well, some of the stuff I won't say uh, on here, but it, it got a little disrespectful from, from what I saw but amongst them. And Joe basically was like, I'm bigger than all of this. I really don't need this. And then, you know, I mean, Slaughterhouse is the biggest rap group or rap anything that Joe did in his whole career because his solar career it was cool the mixtape era joe was a little bit but as far as being p- the most popular i would go with slaughterhouse i mean that was in that was part of the interscope machine was yeah. shady and yeah you know what i don't think they ever realized their potential no i agree they with certainly that. did not i agree with that and i don't know miss it seems like joe might have considered it but the business wasn't right but it also from what joel was saying there's some misinformation that's going on because he was adamant about them not liking the deal and how they spoke about it and stalling and stalling. And, you know, cricket cricket said he flew to New York for, or for, for a studio session and Joe didn't even show up. And he called Joel and was like, uh, he called Joel and was like, yo man, what time we meeting? He's like, I'm not going. Joe's not going. There was no communication. So he flew all the way out there for nothing. So it it, it kind of shows you that might have got a little rocky towards the end anyway. But if y'all listen to that single backstage, it's fire. But they talk about a lot of stuff. They talk about well, just listen to it. I, I don't think you got once y'all listen to it. I think I think you'll see because they really went in on well, their what whole. What they talk about? I mean, we like are a talk behind show. Behind the they talk, scenes, <laughs> they stuff with the, the other guys. What? Yes, it's called. So they talked about. Uh, and I'm going to paraphrase here, uh, contracts, Joe taking pills backstage, women, groupies, Mm. not getting along, uh, not getting along in the real world, but just getting along backstage. And that's, that's what it's based off of. Like we rock together and we cool backstage, we perform, but in real life, we're really not that cool. I feel like Royce has talked about that before. Yeah. So has Joe. He's been very transparent about it. But they, uh, it was Joe. Maybe it's one of the others, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so we're cool backstage and all this crazy stuff is going on, but in real life, we're really not together like that. And they illustrate that very well uh, lyrically, I mm-hmm. will say. All nice right. nice uh, sample. Not interested. Um, <laughs> I'll, I'll, you sound like Lone. I'll, I'll be honest. Say that. Like I'm, I, I'm such a fan of uh, Joel Ortiz's uh, last couple of solo albums. I'd rather focus on those instead. He's of so grown on the last whatever, couple, too. Whatever this is, I, it just doesn't interest me. Yeah. I mean... Not to each his own, but I, I would run that single. Just, you know, if you just for someone, that, some people that are familiar with Slaughterhouse, I'd run that single just to. Slaughter. 